The skyline on the Space Coast is getting crowded. SpaceX's massive new Starship launch site is starting to take shape at Kennedy Space Center. Crews are now stacking the 400-foot rocket tower. New 6's James Barbero shows us what's in store. At the bottom of this massive crane next to launch pad 39A, you can see the first segment of what will be the Starship launch tower. A spaceship taller and twice as powerful as NASA's new rocket, SpaceX building the launch pad that could help achieve Elon Musk's dream of making life multi-planetary. Ultimately, even go beyond the solar system. At Starship's production site in Texas, Musk this year announcing Florida will likely become the home base for launches and landings. Starship heading back to the lander zone. Musk says Starship's first orbital flight could be next month. During testing, there have been explosions. So with the new pad being built just a thousand feet from a pad for astronaut missions right now, Space Florida says there are concerns. If it blows up on the pad, you're right next to where we put our U.S. astronauts into space. Dale Ketchum says a solution may be moving astronaut launches to SpaceX's pad at Launch Complex 40. And like Falcon 9 rockets, SpaceX says Starship could also launch Starlink satellites, in addition to crewed missions to the moon and later Mars. There's no question, this is the first big step, and we're happy to help them bring it about. And as SpaceX works to build this massive launch tower, stick with News 6 and ClickOrlando.com to see the progress. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6.